Most of us are familiar with the tragic love story of Romeo and Juliet. A beautiful maiden and a handsome youth fell in love as soon as their eyes met. Because of the rivalry of their families, the two lovers had to pay the price for their romance with their lives. This heartrending love story is actually an adaptation of the love story of Pyramus and Thisbe, two lovers who shared the same fate as Romeo and Juliet. In the city of Babylonia, there lived two rivalry families. But they were also neighbors. To make things more interesting, the two houses were connected, separated by a single wall. Despite their parents' conflict, Pyramus and Thisbe were friends even as children. Eventually, as they grow up, the friendship turned into love. The two managed to meet in secret and share their love, but soon got caught by their families. As expected, their families didn't approve of their union and tried their best to separate the two. But the young lovers didn't give up and instead exchanged gestures of love from afar in every possible way they could. Suddenly, the land got struck by an earthquake and made a crack on the wall, which separated the two houses. Pyramus and Thisbe was delighted to see the crack, and used it to whisper words of love to each other. Over time the crack was not enough for them, because their love grew with each passing day. The two decided to run away from their families, and share their lives together. Pyramus suggested to meet under a mulberry tree, at a deserted place in the town, to which Thisbe happily agreed. Thisbe was the first to get to the tree, and because she arrived early, she decided to walk around. To her horror, she saw a lioness with a bloody mouth, drinking water from a nearby river. She got frightened on seeing the lioness, and ran away to hide from it. As she ran, she accidentally dropped her veil, and her fear didn't let her pick it up. After drinking water, the lioness saw the beautiful veil Thisbe had left behind. Curiously, the lioness began to play with it and as it play, the veil got torn and covered in blood. When Pyramus arrived, Thisbe was nowhere to be found, but saw her torn and blooded veil. Pyramus was horrified to see it, and assumed that Thisbe was killed by a beast. Devastated, Pyramus killed himself, falling onto his own sword. After a while, hoping the lioness is gone, Thisbe emerged from her hiding spot. She happily ran to reunite with her lover, but found him dead. On seeing her veil to which Pyramus was holding on to, she realized, Pyramus took his life assuming Thisbe was dead. Unable to control her sorrow, she fell onto the same sword Pyramus took his life with. Their blood got mixed and got absorbed to the huge mulberry tree. Gods who saw the tragedy, stained the white mulberry fruits, and turned them dark red to honor the young lovers. The families of the lovers came to know of the event, and decided to let go of their disagreements, and bury the young lovers side by side. What do you think of this story? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video, and would very much appreciate, if you could help out the channel by subscribing, and by being a Patreon. A big thank you to my Patreon and subscribers for your continuous support. I hope to see you again in another story to tell.